Well, the lads have um, been back the other day and they finished putting the roofing sheets on. So we've now got in an actual roof. I've just given you an update on where we're at with this shed stroke roof. The, um, as you can see, all the netting's gone now as well. The safety netting's gone off, so they've done that. Uh, what? So we've got quite a big area. Look at that. Now, as you can see, there's water dripping behind me. And that's because we're not quite finished yet on this. So what's left to do now, we've got basically the finishing off sort of edging, if you like, over these, what they call rafters, if you like. So there's some sheets down there that'll go over and on the ends there, I think, and down the side there. So you won't get that gap. There won't be that gap through there. But you can see the main one probably is the upgrade of the guttering. Because look at this. Overnight, that plastic guttering couldn't cope with what's going on with the rain. Let's have a look, I'll show you. This is a cheapy plastic guttering I put up probably 20 years ago. And uh, it's always been a right pain because it's never been big enough. But also, look, you can see down there, you've got a bit of a blockage. And it's, look there, especially there, look. And you can focus on that, it's not focusing very well, but you get the idea. The problem I've always got is that the pigeons and stuff are all up here and they poo and then the algae and stuff comes with the poo comes down and blocks this gutter. Now, that big gutter right there doesn't block because it's obviously getting enough volume. Um, so, so the thing is now, what we're going to do is we're going to put a bigger gutter in that joint. Let me just stand with it behind. A bigger gutter in this joint. Um, Tim's going to sort that out. Uh, and hopefully it'll take more of the water and won't block up in the same way. Because what we've got here, look, the overhang of the roof of here is now spilling onto there. Um, so I like the idea of it, it, it should work as long as we get something to take the volume away. Um, so hence the bigger width. And also, let's face it, I don't think I've got the levels right. When I, you can see, if you look in the middle, you can see, and I've always just left it because I thought, oh, one day we'll change it. You can see it's all a bit wibbly wobbly. Down no, there, no, look, it's not good, is it? So that will sort this out, and then that will stop that drip. That you can see down there, the drip of water, and this is all the water going underneath this yard. Other than that, it stayed fairly dry. We got a bit of a um, bit, a bit of a shame that the shed didn't come this way further, but we couldn't get the. You need to get the steels in the middle of the concrete so we couldn't really get it in any closer without it um sort of compromising how we did that um and there's all a bit of a difficult one to fit in but yeah we're getting there so what we've got now is a roof over a yard i don't call it a shed because i didn't build a shed although by default i've got a shed if you like by having the walls around it already in the concrete base so as you know a bit of a compromise um because you wouldn't design it exactly like this i don't think if you were starting from scratch but it was kind of where the entrances were and where the yard work was and the wall you know i wanted to try and use as much of that i didn't want to could have taken that wall out and put some slabs in um and made a bit of a tidy job with the steels but that all go the costs keep going on I worked out it cost me just a grand to get the flipping steels concrete in the ground by the time I got the digger bloke out and the concrete. So that's just a thousand pounds thrown away just to put the steels in the ground. That was not the actual uprights, but the, you know, the fixings. Because um, the cubic metre of con concrete was 100 and, I think it was about 125 quid a cubic metre. Last time I bought some a couple of years ago, it was 90 odd. So it just shows where your costs are going. Um, and I won't tell you how much this has cost me, but it's a fair few quid. Anyway, the good thing about this is it's there for a long time and it'll be a very useful building for us. Right, I've got to crack on. We'll have another look later when we've got a bit more progress. I've also got a plan for filling in the gaps in the um, RSJs, which I'll talk about in a bit. Okay, well, so it's, it's a bit of a change of plan, actually. So, I had a thought and I was thinking some of this weld mesh I could stick in um like those gaps in those between those girders uh to block off where the cows are going but i was a bit unsure about that because 
Mm, I was thinking, well, is it man enough? And also, I've got to weld onto those uprights, and I think it's going to look a bit, a bit cheap, really. Anyway, Tim's turned up, and he's well. Basically, what he's done over the weekend, he has actually made me a um, a little side gate. So we we've got a little gate as well as a big gate now, which is good. And also, what he's done is he's made a couple of three um, which are sort of bar a bar configuration to go between the girders so basically we are making it look slick i didn't really want we've gone this far i didn't really want a bodge job they're here now they're just they're going to be doing the gutter we'll go and have a look they're on the gutter i'm going to go and have a look at these gates <laughs> they're taking the gutter down which is the best place for it in the meantime look what we've got here here is the gutter that's going to go up now that is a good that is a good width isn't it it's solid length of of uh, galvanized steel Look, definitely not gonna worry about overflowing or blocking there and then next to it we have what he's made in the workshop some sections that are going to fill that gap and he's got some uh, he's, <laughs> he's been spraying it on the trailer um we've got some brackets <laughs> smiley face he said he'd do one i found it and uh, also we've got this little gate that's going to go on in that gap so that means i can check um check the uh cattle without opening the big gate and also it'd be good for chucking a little cattle through uh so we're it's really motoring on now we ain't far off finishing there we got some bits of sheet left. We got this is the side clad in here. That's going to go on there, under there, under the bubble wrap. Still to go up. So I think they'll finish it today. Most of the job will be done today, and I think there's the gate that's got to go back on. On there, hanging post to go to here latches on here and a little opening gate here this is actually quite good i think what we can do is when when we're sorting cattle do you know what it's always really difficult we've got to run a little heifer out so side gate there is actually better for us than having a solid block wall so we can sort of go out through there so the gate will be at an angle which i deliberately wanted at an angle i could have put the latching post out further but i deliberately wanted an angle so the gate would open quite wide so and also I want the gate opening that way so that when we're running cattle out of here, they run round that way. It's all kind of thinking about when you're moving cattle, which way they're going and how it's working for you. Right, they're on, they're on gutter duty. We'll have a little look when we've finished guttering and gating. Gate on. Well, the gutter's in now. Look at that, proper, proper job. That's a big, nice, I've got to pick that bit of plastic out in a minute. There we go, got rid of that. So that, that's a nice trough gutter along right there, isn't it? That'll definitely catch all the water. No worries there. And it's galvanised as well, so it won't rot out. So that'll stop any drippage down there. And it's going to rain later in the week. I think they're on the side, just putting the sides up now. Let's have a quick look. We can follow the gutter along. I've got to put a downpipe in. I wonder. I'm not going to use that. I think they've gone to get the pipe that will fit on there, because it can go into. This is going to need a new bracket. Look, that's knackered drain there that drains through to there and from up there and then the water all ends up in the pond down there but they've got the so look at that that looks better doesn't it tons better they've got the side up the side sheet and there it is look now we can see it out of the bubble wrap that's just the sheets of side tin the thing with this job right i could save a few quid by not putting that side tin on and stuff and you know, like I said before, I could have maybe patched up the 
gaps between it, but I want to I want to do this properly. I want to have a proper job, if, they, if you like. <sighs> Helped by the grant funding we got on it, which isn't going to pay at all, but it does pay for some of it. But you know, I want to have I want this to look right. I'm sure Tim does as well. But look at that, ba 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 ba. Anyway, I'll have a look when we've finished. Next time we come back round here, we'll have a look when the gate's on. Well, the guys are on the... We'll have a look in a minute. I think they're... I can hear the drill going, so they might be putting the uh, filler bars in between these pillars. Uh, they still got to put some of the cladding on. Um, but I just thought I'd do a little bit of a catch-up while I'm up here. Because we're in... Look at this, this is mental. We're in mi mid-October. I'm in bright sunshine. We still haven't had hardly any rain here. And uh, what's really funny is the neighbours have just bailed. So if you can look right down there, you can probably just make out one round bale down there. One lonely round bale, they bailed that. That whole field, massive field, probably 15 acres or more. And there's one bale there. And then if I pan across, what's it? Three bales there, one there. Three bales there. So, I mean, that's, that's sort of third cut, but there's just no grass. and. I didn't film it, but actually, do you know what? I went and did our last cut of silage the other day. I might have said this on another video, but in the end, I cut it and in the end, it tethered it back into the ground because it wasn't just worth worrying about. Um, anyway, on a, another a couple of updates. So firstly, you might have seen on my Facebook, I haven't videoed this, on Facebook, we went inconclusive on a TB test last week. Um, so one cow went inconclusive, which meant she's potentially got TB, but we've got a keeper now restricted for 60 days, um, which we're not shut down with TB, but we're un we're, we've got to be careful now. Um, we'll know more in 60 days time. So that was a bit of a blow. It's a shame really, but you know, the ups and downs of farming, it seems to be a, quite a few ups as well as downs. Um, but, on the other positive, on the positive side, if you've seen I'm selling Funky Farmer calendars, um, they're doing incredibly well, and I think I've sold about 250. And as we speak, I've probably got about 50 left. Um, so if you're looking for a calendar, Funky Farmer calendars, spot on. I've got to say that, but they are nice. Um, and if you want one, get one soon because I'm not going to reprint. So once they've sold out, that's it. So. Uh, Get yourself a calendar and I will be revealing something special that's coming off the back of that calendar which I haven't talked about yet um, but I'll be telling you about that soon there is going to be a worthy cause that I'm going to be funding through some of the money from that calendar anyway let's have a look how we're doing on this now oh yeah they are filling in the bars look at this all right Tim caught you at it I'm glad you did these they look really cracking That'll stop them getting in there, wouldn't it? Yeah. My biggest worry is they'd walk through and then they'd get their ribs stuck and they wouldn't yeah. wouldn't be able to go forward, wouldn't be able to go back. That's much better than the farmer bodge I'd do. Pop the ribs through and stuck up the pins, isn't it? Yeah. That's good. You're nearly done now, aren't you? Yeah. These bits of gutterings done right now. Yeah. Done well done. Got to go up on are there. you doing that tonight or are you gonna finish? Probably do that tomorrow. Yeah. Back do tomorrow. Do we do an early night. And, uh, yeah. Trying to get some orders and planning together for the week. Yeah, well done, mate. We'll get, yeah. Right. So have a look when it's finished. Turlings and timber turlings and things. There we are, so we're on literally the last bit today. The uh, chap's finished off last night putting the uh, barricades in. And this morning they're coming back. Just to finish off that top bit. And let me walk down here, try not to fall down. Ooh. Got the little gate going. Look at that, that's a good gate that is. 
So that's going to go in there and then we can uh, let the cattle in and they can come back in here. Right, the boys are back in town now. I've been away doing, I've been greasing. I actually greased the tractor, can you believe that? Um, the old Massey, after I pressure washed it, needed to clean it. I needed to uh, grease it. So uh, well, they're back on it now. Look, last bit of tin going on up there on the old scissor scissor lift and I'll be glad when that's done I'm sure nearly that's it today then and the gates on down there and we'll have a catch up with them when they finish I think right the fellas are finishing up now we literally got a little side gate going on now the main gate's done look at this Tim's, Tim's just getting uh, his shirt on Look at this, we can nearly close the gate on the job. Shut that one up. Well, I'm going to go and have a quick chat with Tim. He's to see how it went. Here we are, Tim. I've collared you, mate. You're a hard-working man because you, you work late in the evenings, don't you? Because you don't leave here till half six later, do you? Yeah, we, we generally do a, do a sort of later day, try and make up for the getting everything ready in the morning yeah. and getting things. How, I mean, it's quite hard because you're not only you're sort of designing it, you're making the, you make the frames, don't you? Yeah. And then you're actually putting them up as well. So you're, yeah. you're doing everything, aren't you? Trying to, yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of people sort of say, you know, get them as kit forms and just put them up. Yeah. And my thought with that is we're not learning anything. No. Um, if we can get to a point where we can do the entire thing like we do now mm. and do it well, then you don't need to rely on other people, do you? That's, that's the biggest problem, I think. I mean, the other thing as well, I mean, this is a kind of bespoke job, isn't it? Because yeah. it's not a straightforward shed, is it? Because no. it's a funny old quirky yard, isn't it? You, yeah, I think we, when you we, measured up, it wasn't straight, was it? No, we had a few problems because the walls the walls run out and as well. Um, to get your footings right, you'd want a string line, both lines of legs and between, so you know you're square. Yeah. And we couldn't do that with this because of this wall. So no, because that's not square, is it? Yeah, we had to come out a bit further and string line down yeah. here and measure back, and it it seemed to work. So, quite pleased with that. Yeah. Yeah, not to do that before. It's, I mean, you've had the weather on your side this all, haven't you? It's been nice. Yeah, been, it's been really nice. Today's a lovely day for it, isn't it? Yeah, nice day to finish off. Yeah. 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 So I got off the subject. Listen to him. <laughs> hey, yeah. he's on the. His uncle helped put the floor down on that shed over there. Yeah. 10 years ago, 12 years ago is. Anyway, off the subject of sheds, I was right. talking to you off camera a while back. And you, you're in a band, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. And what's your role? Drummer. Drummer. Mm -hmm. And um, I was going to say, what's your... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> we'll get it out of you in the end. So your band, what's your band called? Bad News First. Bad News First. Have you got... Anywhere that anyone can hear your music? Yes, on um, Spotify, Instagram, there's a bit on YouTube. Bad, is, what's it called, Bad News Bad First? Bad News First, yeah. Right, and maybe we, I could drop a bit of your music over a bit of this. Yeah, if you like, I don't uh, want to do for your ratings. Soundtrack, well, put them up, Tim. You're, you've seen him in first, you're the next Jason Donovan. Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't no. need that. <laughs> oh, man. Well, what, what sort of music is it? It's like post-punky kind is of. Is it? Noisy, shouty. Noisy shouty. Yeah. And loud drumming. Loud, yeah, as loud as I can. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Keep the guitarists in check, can't you? Yeah, what a fair play. <laughs> Thank you very much, Tim. Appreciate yeah, no worries, you. No All right, cheers. <laughs> okay, so Tim has left now, but I have my main inspectors who come here who are going to inspect. Oh, excuse me, I've just eaten an apple and I'm belching a bit. All right, my main inspectors are here. Mm -hmm. The, the, the shed the, inspectors. The the one. Is that a good idea to bring the dog? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. Better go through then. Go through. Better go then. Right, now are you going to get through yourself? I think some meat. Right. Come and see the shed. I've got two things I want you to find in a minute as well. Okay. I let the cows in earlier. Look at this. You'll never see it as clean as this again. I mean, we care for the dog and the cows. What do you think? What's the verdict? Didn't realize you were going to be in there. Hey? Didn't realize you were going to put Yeah, them. roof lights. They let a bit of light in, don't they? I thought you were going to put like, proper lights in. No, we will do. We're going, to get, in we're going to get some electrics in. Okay. So I've got someone coming to put some lighting up. Probably some LED lights, strip lights. Hey? Looks good. It's good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, right, it uh, seems like it feels a bit open though. Well, uh, I might change this. We might put some cladding around there, but that's or some netting or something. That's for the future. Good? Yeah, I've got two things you've got to find, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come here. Yeah. Around the building, yeah. not higher than your head, yeah. is a smiley face. Yeah. And yeah. also, what's the matter? And also, I'll well, go and grab him. A date stamp. A date so stamp. So I need you to go and look for a date. Can we go now? Go now, yeah, yeah. Me and Buddy are going to stay here. Come here, Bud. So, how did you find it so quick? I walked a dog around here. You, right here. <laughs> you <laughs> cheat. <laughs> what? Is it here? The date, you've got to find a date. Didn't that, that not necessarily on the metal, oh. but it's head height or below. Right, I can't believe you found the smiley face. Okay. Let's go and see the smiley face while the boys are looking for it. In the concrete somewhere. I can't possibly say. Look, smiley face. Have you seen the smiley face? Yeah. I like that. I really like that. I rub the dust off it. Look. Isn't that cool? You should do little things like that on. Stuff. It just also, makes life more fun. They've even got a little person gate. It's a little person gate for little persons. Any little persons around here? So basically, you don't have to yes, open exactly. this one, and um, then the cows can't get in. Exactly. You can just open this one. Yes. You anyway, you need it. to find the um, date stamp. You need to find the date stamp. Where would it be? I reckon in the concrete. Well, have you looked at all the concrete yet? Not all of it. Buddy, has he found, looked at all the concrete yet? I can't believe you haven't found it yet. You've looked at every single one. How many are there? Outside. Outside. Ooh, you're a bit slow on the mark there. Any luck yet? Right now. Harry, how did you run, run by that? Oh, God. How did you miss that? Yep. Don't rub it out. I messed up a bit. The concrete seems really wet. Yeah, I messed up a little bit. It's not. It's not. Yeah, solid. Can you see what it says? Sep. And what month are we in? October. Yeah. When I write, write that with my pen knife. September. I forgot. It's October. What a wally. So there you go. Anyway. It's a draw. Under the it's a draw. You found this. Who found the smiley face? Me. You found it earlier, so though. I, you I, cheat. I already. <laughs> Cheats. They happy in here. Oh, they're really happy because they've been out here for a week and the grass has greened up a little bit. Plus the fact, can you see down there? They're eating the pears that have fallen off the tree. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, they're they're having a... They so do you like... Have the... To have space and the good thing so is, it's quite dry, so when the, mm. when the things have been in there... That'll dry out. It's, yeah, but it's been quite dry, so it's only left yeah, that bit there. Yeah, not too bad, is it? If, that was a middle, um, if it was a middle winter, it'd mm. be really messy. Yeah. Um, I, so, you've left a space there. Yeah. But when you do do the mm. boarding around, yeah. are you going to put it on like this side and that side? Yes. Just that? Yes. And If um, we do it, I don't know, we're not going to do it for a while. It might not happen at all. And also, what about the loose box things? That well, we're going to live with it for a winter and just see how it goes, I think. Mm -hmm. It's also cost, Harry. We have had a very expensive shed built. Yeah, I was just you know? wondering. Yes. Are you going to win the lottery for me and then we can have all the things you want? That's basically how it works, seven, Harry, seven, isn't it? If four, you win six, the lottery... Seven. Come around this side because it's in the sun. But buddy wants up. If you can win the lottery I'm for me... Here? All right. And then... Jump straight back out. Oh, have you got him? If you win the lottery, Harry, then you can have everything... You can have everything you want on the farm, all right? Everything. everything, but you've got to win the lottery first to pay for it. When you say everything, do you mean everything? Well, what would you have if you had everything? Maybe a new farm. A new farm? No, 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 not like, What's wrong with this one? No, not like brand new, like that, that's it. new sheds. Well, yeah, if you win like, the lottery, you can. You can have buildings like well, I would. Them. There's loads of things I'd love to do that. If I had endless pockets and, of cash, I'd do all that. Refurbish the. Cubicle shed. Yeah, well, if I had money, I'd do all that, but you can only do bits at a time like this. This is a good job, though, isn't it? I'm really pleased with this. Looks very professional. It is very professional. Tim did a very professional job. Though, um, huh? Why is there poles on this side but not on That's this side? to stabilise it. There's another po big pole here as well, look. Yeah, 
I did speak to him about that. It's to do with uh, stabilisation to stop the shed wobbling that way. So what someone did is... What, well, it's um, going down that way. So if, the, if it was going to get any gales or anything, that would stabilise it and stop it flexing. And basically it's, it's all joined together to make a rigid frame. Good buddy over there. Um, it will be better, won't it? Another yeah? farmer, what he did is instead of putting the the whatever they are things, steel type mm. things. Yeah. Um, he cut them off and used them as feed rails. Well, what about his shed? <laughs> That's not very good. Yeah, he, I'm sure I could take is, those down, but then the shed his, might fall down one so day. He didn't have to buy more feed rails. So what yeah. he did is is he cut the ones off that um were were on the side that wouldn't get any wind. Right. Yeah. And then just use those as feed rails. What farmer is that then? Um, he's on YouTube. Is he? Is he called Fallen Down Shed Farmer? No. <laughs> might be one day. Right. Anyway, let's go. I hope you've enjoyed our little uh, the, the series of videos we've been doing on this shed building. It's been quite a good little project really on the farm and it's nice to do some stuff that is Sorry. sort of going forward, you know, if you like. You can do everything you want but you can do think little bits and pieces. Anyway, these two, they're going forward. You're going for Hello birds. What do you think? What do you think, little man? Hey, do you like it? It's a big dog shed for you. Hmm? <laughs> right, crack on. He just wants to be sniffing. Crack on everyone. <laughs>